Now, that's kind of what this channel is all about, sharing our stories, telling the stories of those involved in wrestling, and sharing our love for wrestling. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of negativity, but in the end, pro wrestling is what drives so many of us. So many of us have de dedicated our lives to it, grew up loving it. Some have had careers, some just lifelong fans. I don't think there's enough love being told for wrestling. And I think social media is a great place for wrestling, but it can also really spike the negativity at times. So I just like to spread some more positivity. And with that, I want to know what made you first fall in love with wrestling? Do you know when you first started watching and who was your favorite growing up? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I, like everybody else is, uh, you fall in love with what you're first watching on TV. Um, you know, when I was younger, I went to Catholic school um, and where I lived and where the school was were very, very different neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And so the school neighborhood was was quite affluent, actually. And so a lot of my friends and peers there were, were pretty well to do. And you have to keep in mind the time that we're talking about here. Like I didn't have cable um, and a lot of my friends did. And so like they were all watching Raw on the USA Network and stuff and you know watching wcw and i just didn't have that as an option because like i just we just didn't have it in the house we just had over the air we had you know the old rabbit ears and the antenna on the roof but then you know wwe moved to upn um uh, with smackdown the first episodes of smackdown were on a defunct channel which was upn which was before it moved to fox and so that's when I first started to be able to kind of watch wrestling. And so I remember those nights, you know, because all my friends would talk about all this cool stuff. And I was like, I want to see what this is about. And so I was kind of hooked on it there. And I was just laid, laying down in the living room while my dad's falling asleep on the couch, uh, you know, and I'm watching SmackDown. And so that was kind of my first, you know, introduction into it. And so all the Attitude Era guys are the first, you know, people that I you know, fell in love with, you know, The Rock, Stone Cold, uh, Mankind, The Undertaker, Kane. I was a huge Kane fan when I was like, love Kane. So, you know, that was my first, you know, foray, foray into it. And then, you know, after that, you know, uh, we, you know, my mom eventually did get cable. And then, you know, I'm going to high school and my friends are also into wrestling. You know, we're, you know, doing odd jobs and putting money together to go get pay-per-views and watch them over at Brandon Taylor's house. And, you know, so that was kind of like my introduction and how I kind of fell in love with it. And, you know, it had to do, it really also had to do with like the core friend group that I had, you know, cause they were all into it. And it's like, well, these are what my friends are into. So I'll be into it. And, you know, never did I imagine that of that core friend group, um, you know, I become an executive with the NWA Brandon from high school, he now works for the New Japan LA Dojo. Uh, and Mark Donica, who um, is back working with NXT. Um, so of that core friend group, you had three people who moved on to go and make careers out of the sport of wrestling, which is pretty, it's got to be unprecedented. It's got to be weird to just have these three kids. And, you know, at, at certain points did what they tell you not to do, you know, the backyard wrestling you know, we were getting those old DVDs and tapes of all that stuff that, you know, doing stuff you really shouldn't be doing. And then, of course, you do it and people get, you know, knocked unconscious doing stupid bumps in a public park. But, you know, it's it's how a lot of people grew up and how they kind of tried to immerse themselves into wrestling without really knowing what they're doing. And so that's how I kind of fell in love with it. That's the funny thing about backyard wrestling is you're always told not to do it, and people always end up eventually looking down on it. But when you're a kid, everybody does it. You can't help it. it, it it's the same thing when you look at any sort of extreme sports, you know, because at the same time, you know, you got kids out there that are watching X Games, and they're seeing, you know, everything Tony Hawk's doing, and everybody's getting a skateboard or a BMX bike, and those are inherently dangerous as well. You're going to end up yeah. with broken bones and, and things like that. And will it pay off? You know, are you going to be a, a, an Olympic gold medalist in snowboard? Probably not. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it's like I'm probably never going to be NWA World's Heavyweight Champion either. But you could still find the space. Plus, there's different degrees of it, too, of course. You know, yeah. sometimes it's just a couple friends wrestling around. Then there's more extreme versions of it, too. So, oh, yeah, it yeah. is what it is.